Let me get started with the U.S.-South Korea alliance. Mm -hmm. We are seeing this impeachment drama play out in Washington. Mm -hmm. Are you concerned at all that this will take focus away from your alliance with the United States mm -hmm. and also other pressing regional issues like North Korea? Well, I won't comment on the domestic political situation here in the United States, but I can say for the alliance that it is strong, unwavering, and uh, solid, as reaffirmed uh, in the meeting between my president and President Trump earlier this week in the margins of the UNGA. And of course, North Korea, a key issue between of the course. U.S. and South yes. Korea. Yes. Any indication at all when will North Korea again resume negotiations with the U.S.? Uh, we expect that to happen within weeks. I mean, there are indications of their readiness to come back to the discussions have been more and more concrete. And I think uh, uh, so the, the meeting between the two presidents were a wonderful opportunity to touch base on where things are and to exchange ideas on how when the, the negotiations do resume, how to take um, the issue and produce some concrete results um, on all the areas that were agreed to in Singapore, which is North Korea's denuclearization, certainly, but also establishing lasting peace on the Korean Peninsula and also you know, improving relations between the United States and North Korea. Will the two leaders meet again soon, perhaps in North Korea this time? Well, that's, <laughs> that's a big hypothesis, but we would want to see um, real movement on the discussions on the on the nuclear issue. Of course, we have now seen direct correspondence between Washington and between Pyongyang. So mm -hmm. what role does Seoul have left to play in here? Well, Seoul, we are there. We live there. This is uh, we are the primary party that would be affected by by how the the negotiations proceed and, and the outcome of those negotiations. We are absolutely at one with the United States towards our goal of complete denuclearization and, and strategizing in getting that from North Korea. So the, we are absolutely confident about the U.S. approach to the negotiations with North Korea. And you can call us the mediator, facilitator, whatever, but at, at the end of the day, we are the primary stakeholder on this discussion. Yes, and, yes. You said it, you are right there, right? Mm -hmm. So are you concerned or how concerned is Washington mm -hmm. about short range ballistic missiles from North Korea? I think we're all concerned. Uh, these are, there have been a series of these short um, uh, launches, uh, short range missile launches. Uh, obviously it doesn't help the, the dialogue momentum and, and reviving the dialogue momentum and we make that very clear. Um, and that the North Koreans should stop this. Uh, the two militaries are in um, close consultations and in identifying exactly uh, the nature of these short-range uh, launches. Uh, but we have also been measured in our response so as not to disrupt the dialogue momentum that is picking up again. Um, so we watch every move very, very closely and, and to read the implications. Uh, but again, also based upon a very solid combined defense posture and, and readiness on the part of our militaries. Has your alliance with the U.S. seen any impact from South Korea exiting the intelligence sharing pact with Japan? Well, the U.S., uh, as expected, has expressed its disappointment of our decision. But we have uh, explained uh, the, you know, the, the compelling nature of our decision which was triggered, in fact, by Japan's very unexpected and unilateral trade measures. Um, and therefore, I think you know, we, we respect the U.S. position on this, but I think our position, the decision that we ha have made, and you're talking about the military intelligence sharing agreement, this requires a great deal of trust between the, 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 the parties. And if Japan uh, has uh, played with trade restrictions on us, based upon the rationale of, in, you know, breached trust and for security concerns, then it doesn't make sense for us to maintain this agreement, which requires a higher level of trust. In the past, Washington has played the role of mediator between Japan and South Korea many mm -hmm. times. What mm -hmm. role is Washington playing now? Well, I, you know, Washington, I think, uh, you know, is, is, uh, of course, urging the two sides to talk in the first instance, 
but also using uh, opportunities vis-a-vis -vis us, vis-a-vis -vis the uh, Japan, to to make the point that the trilateral um, uh, cooperation is very necessary and uh, important as we uh, as we deal with the North Korean nuclear issue and other security issues. And we respect that. We understand that. We are very much part of it. Um, and it may not so be playing a role visibly, but it certainly is uh, is uh, doing what it can uh, to keep the, the trilateral security alliance uh, strong. You've just met your new counterpart in Japan, Foreign Minister Toshimitsu Motegi. Have you? Uh, what have you talked about when it comes to measures to ease tensions? Anything concrete? He's new. Uh, I think as a first meeting go, it went well. I think it was um, it was cordial. It was uh, uh, forthcoming. Um, but regardless of newness or oldness, the personalities, the issues are there, and and the uh, we have big disagreements on the issues at hand. Uh, basically, the the trade restriction measures and also. Um, the the uh, the disagreement over our uh, Supreme Court judgment on the forced labor issue. They're there. We need to we need to work through that. But we are both committed, as I have uh, shared the commit with his predecessor of the two um, ministries, talking you know at 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 every opportunity that presents itself to us to try to better understand each right. other and to narrow that gap so that we may be able to move uh, find a way forward on the on the on the uh, issue of the forced labor but also on the trade restriction measures minister Khan, just quickly 10 seconds or so mm -hmm. the weakness and challenges in your align in your ties with japan mm -hmm. will it benefit china well i think there's Lots of analysis and you know a minus on this side, a plus on that. I don't think global diplomacy and and uh, coordination cooperation is a zero sum game. So that a loss here is a benefit there. I think in the end we all have to see the the shared strategic goal in this region, which is which is North Korea's complete denuclearization and lasting peace on the Korean Peninsula.